174. That's the total number of days that you have before you give your first attempt of Bitsat. And now J means for this attempt is also coming up and a lot of other exams are also coming up in the next few months. How do you actually prepare and how do you actually make sure that your first attempt of J means and your first attempt of Bitsat goes well is what we'll be discussing about in this video here today. If you're new here, my name is Hari. I'm a recent graduate from Bits Planning and I got 314 Bitsat of 2019. So let's just get started in the video. Before we start talking about the 6 month strategy, you guys need to know about the BITSAT examination pattern. For those who don't know, BITSAT is a very, very important examination which helps you into the gate of BITS Pilani. And to get into those like, gates of BITS Pilani, you need to understand that you need to solve 130 questions within a time span of 3 hours. Well, this is very different from an exam like J mains where you know you have to solve just 75 questions in a matter of 3 hours. But in Bitsat, there is three, 130 questions and at the same time, you have an extra section of English and logical reasoning, which you need prior preparation for. People think that you can just wing it, we can just do anything that you want, you'll get through that section. But trust me, what matters a lot is that you ace the English and logical reasoning section. It's that anything more than a score of 300 is considered good. Last year, the cutoff of Bits Planning CS was somewhere around 340. And Bits Goa CS was ideally 10, 20 marks lesser than that. So anywhere above the 300 mark is considered a very, very good score. So if you are someone who's aiming for a 300 plus mark, then this video is right for you. First of all, you have to know your current syllabus status, right? Different people might be at different states and some of them people might be really, really well prepared. Some of the people might not be really well prepared for your first year of J means. So try to understand what are your strong chapters, what are your weak chapters and what are the chapters that you need to work on a lot more. And once that segregation is done, now you have a clear picture of what is to be worked on and what is already there which is in your hands and where you can actually get the highest amount of marks. Going forward, I'm going to be talking about how you can what you should do in the next six months so that you can do really well in your Bitsat examination. Let's start off with the first two months. So many people were asking me that, okay, J means is coming up in one, two months, but my target is actually Bitsat and I actually want to get into the gates of Bits Pilani. So what should I actually do? Should I actually start preparing for Bitsat now? Or should I study for J means now? Like how do I actually go about things, right? Well, first thing that you have to understand is that one of the most important thing for both J mains and Bitsat is your NCRT textbook. Understanding your NCRT textbook for physics and chemistry especially is of utmost importance when it comes to organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and even certain concepts in physics which will be asked in your Bitsat examination and your J mains examination. And you have to understand that there's a lot of overlap in the syllabus when it comes to both GE mains and Bitsat. So it's not that if you're preparing for GE mains, you're missing out on Bitsat. If you're preparing for Bitsat, you're missing out on GE mains. No. Given that it's only like one, two months left for GE mains, go and solve the previous year GE main questions now. Go and solve chapter wise questions in GE mains. Try to understand how do I actually solve the problems from first principles. If a concept is given, if a problem is given, how do I actually approach it from the first principles? Everybody must know that, you know what, the level of questions in GE mains has been coming down a lot over the years. Whereas the level of Bitsat has been more or less constant over the years, right? So people earlier used to think that, okay, let me just prepare for G means and then the preparation for Bitsat would automatically be taken care of because earlier the difference in the number of questions were also not this high and the level of questions were also not this low, right? So the what you should actually think about before attempting an exam like Bitsat is how do I actually solve the maximum number of questions in the minimum time possible? And to do that, you need to solve as many previous year papers as possible. Try to take as many papers as possible, starting from 2020, 2021, 2, 3, 4, and then try to solve all these papers of all the sessions in NTA and try to time yourself. Can you do it in less than three hours? Can you do it in like two and a half hours if possible, right? And if you can do that, how accurately can you solve these questions? And as the accuracy increases and, and as the speed increases, you will understand that your score will also increase. This will definitely help you in both your GE mains and your Bitsat preparation. And while collecting data from people who we have helped out in the last year, where people who actually wrote Bitsat 2024, we understood that a lot of questions came from chapters like mechanics, sections like mechanics, and a lot of questions came from physical inorganic chemistry in Bitsat, and the weightage given to organic chemistry was slightly lesser when it came to Bitsat of 2024. 
and of course the video just can keep changing over the years and there's no fixed rule as the number of questions which will come year on year but this is a pattern that we've observed so whenever you're preparing for JE mains as well try to keep these things in mind so that you can actually go ahead and actually do well in JE mains and once you've done these mocks for G means then it means that you are actually on the right path towards taking on the bit side examination which is going to come up in like the next four five months and if you're someone who's aiming for a score of 300 plus 320 plus then it makes sense for you to start preparing bit side marks starting from now right only then you will gain an advantage over most people who have actually not started preparing for these kind of exams because it's kind of different when it comes to a larger number of questions and because you have an extra section of english and logical reasoning and the pattern is also kind of different right so this is exactly why we came up with Bitside Busted. Bitside Busted is a mock test series which actually resembles the actual Bitside pattern. Most of the mock tests out there are completely whimsical with extremely difficult type of questions. They are difficult test series and then there are some test series which are like very very easy as well. So Bitside Busted is one of those test series where we Bitsians have designed this test series to help out folks like you who are going to write Bitside examination coming up this year. Last year we had a community of close to a thousand people who gave the Bitsad Busted test series and they are now studying in various campuses across India and some of them have even gotten into Bits campuses. So I'll see you guys in the community. I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys there. Once your GE means examination come, becomes over, then you will enter into the second part of the vlog which is the month 3 and 4. In Bitsad you'll understand that there is a lot of chapters which are not there in GE means as well. GE means, in GE means there is a deleted portion of GE means and then there is in Bitsat those kind of deleted portions are, are given a good amount of weightage when it comes to Bitsat. So now is the time to go forward and study those chapters. Things like S block, surface chemistry, parts of P block and even certain chapters like gravitation, nuclear physics, these are deleted in GE means, but then they do come up in Bitsat examination. So don't be one of those people who actually sits down and tries to think that, okay, these chapters are deleted for GE means, so Bitsat maybe nahi hoga, but definitely it is actually there. So go and study them when you have the time to do it. Because if you wait until the last moment to study these chapters, then you will end up losing a lot of marks. And Bitsat is one of those examinations where there's given a lot of weightage. A lot of weightage is given to almost a lot of the chapters, right? It's not that it's not like J Advanced where you know like certain chapters are given a lot of weightage. So think about it and prepare accordingly. Don't let your guards down. Don't think that J means syllabus is equal to Bitsat syllabus. And during this time, your board exam preparation is also very critical because last year I talked to several people, but then a lot of the people who were really well prepared for BITSAT, they were not able to give BITSAT. And the reason is because they did not cross the 75% mark threshold for giving the BITSAT examination. Yes, you heard that right. And that is very shocking because most of them don't understand that you need to have a minimum aggregate in your board exams to actually qualify for BITSAT examination. So even if you have a full mark score in BITSAT, if you don't cross the minimum threshold for the board examinations, you'll still be under trouble. So make sure you prepare for your board exams well, read your NCRD textbook well, make sure you have your short notes prepared. And when you're writing your practical exams, study the analytical part of chemistry and part of the organic chemistry so that that helps you in your BITSAT examination as well. Do not screw up your board exams because those are very very critical especially from understanding an NCRD point of view and from clearing the minimum aggregate point of view as well. And if you have time and you should have time right make sure to give at least one mock per week for BITSAT if you're really really serious about BITSAT. And the best mocks out there are the BITSAT busted mock tests out there because I can guarantee you that nobody has ever put in this kind of dedication to setting the best mock tests out to help their juniors get into a dream college like BITS. And in the final two months, that is month five and month six, you will have your second of G, second attempt of G means and you will have your BITSAT preparations also coming up, right? So a lot of you might be thinking, what should you actually do? There's so many resources. And that's when most people keep asking me, Bhaiya, humko naya book start karni chahiye. Bitsat ke liye kaun sa book ka hai? I'm like, bro, you have like two months left for Bitsat and us time pe like tum naya book laga ke tum kya karoge, right? So try to understand how do I get the maximum out of it in the last two months. And the best way to do that is by revising your stuff that you've already revised. If you have done your coaching modules well, if you've done your J means PYQ as well, and if you have done some other extra reference book well, then do the mock test, start doing mock tests one by one, gain advantage, gain confidence in practicing the 130 questions in a time frame of 
three hours and try to gain an advantage when it comes to english and logical reasoning as well because most people screw up in english and logical reasoning and bro it it really looks bad on their overall score and cool nahi hai bro like thinking that oh i didn't do well in english and logical reasoning because of that you missed the branch or you missed the college just because of your inability to do things properly right so keep those things in mind and make sure to prepare accordingly in the last two months what's important is revision 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 and solving the mock tests over and over again right and once you do that once your revision and your mock tests are in place properly then trust me you are ready to go and give your first attempt of bitsat and before your first attempt of bitsat i think or before or slightly after that you'll have your j main second attempt as well there will be a lot of hubbub a lot of people talking about the ranks versus marks predictors there'll be a lot of distractions out there what percentile you'll get for what marks what are the things what are the best colleges to go to you have a lot of dreams and a lot of hopes to get into some place but don't lose track don't get distracted make sure to give your bitsat really really well and trust me it is going to make a huge difference in your preparation right so in the last few months make sure mock test is the best way to go forward when it comes to preparation and along with analysis and revision to give you a quick walk through and a recap of what you should do make sure to understand in your first two months try to understand that j means preparation is of utmost importance make sure to do it really well make sure to understand ncert is really important make sure to do your j means questions religiously and make sure to solve your j means pyqs this will really help in your bitsat preparation as well and if you want to go above and beyond and you want to get a score of 300 plus 320 plus then throw out do try out the bitsat buster test series as well there's a community there's a mock test series that you can try out and once you get the mock test you'll be added to a whatsapp group you can talk to mentors like me and several other people who have done really well in bitsat over the previous years and once the two months month mark gets over try to understand what are the deleted syllabus of j means and try to see how you can prepare them and do well in them so that in your bitsat preparation it'll really help you out and understand that bitsat is not an exam like j means and j advance where you know certain select topics have a lot of weightage there is a lot of chapters so one two questions do come from each chapter so don't ignore any chapter otherwise you will end up losing marks which will lead to problems later on right and the last two months make sure to focus on revision and on preparing doing and doing well in your mock test exams because if you don't do well in your mock tests and if you don't have a proper strategy to do well in your mock tests then trust me your first attempt of je means is not going to do is not going to go well at all so think intelligently and make sure to choose wisely do you think that 6 months is a very long time but it's not right when you cut out the practical exam the time given to your practicals the time given to your board exams time given to j means time given for you know like travel and sleep and all that and then you would understand that you know j means and bitsat sec like first attempt is not is less than a month away and you'll have to do well within a month so essentially you have like maybe like 40 50 days for bitsat if you cut out all the noise in between all of the noise so make sure to cut out the noise from your life focus on what's important prepare and do well I'll see you guys in the next video. This was the first episode of the Bitsat series. So if you are someone who's prepared preparing seriously for Bitsat, then do subscribe to this channel. A lot more videos coming up. I'll see you guys.